Hey everybody, it's time for another Tony's Tippets. And today I've gotten into the 3D printing. So um, one of the tips that um, I have is when printing, sometimes you'll get either stringing or little pock marks that are in your filament. And the what everybody says on Reddit and YouTube videos is that you need to dry your filament as dry as possible. So what we're going to be unpacking today is this um, Sunlu Filla Dryer S2. It has an LCD in the middle of the actual dryer to give you um, sort of visibility in the humidity, timing, and also like set um, what kind of material that you're printing with. And then also this is the upgraded version that actually has a fan. So we'll be unpacking this and I'll, and I'll show you that. And then I'll do like a time lapse of um, show you a print that I got that has a little little bit of the pock marks and then dry the filament that I'm going to use and then print another print and see how smooth it comes out to see if this actually works. So um, thank you for joining me on this journey. Here we are with the Senlu Filla Dryer S2. And I'm not going to go through too much of the specs. I'm just going to unbox this and show you what's inside. The specs you can pretty much find online. And kind of, I just want to show you what is in the box. What does the filler dryer do? Uh, probably go through some of the details on setting it up. Well, of course, I didn't. go there it is there whoa pretty whoa almost knocked it over all right here we go it's pretty light inside uh, it comes with manual user guy has um I guess it has some uh, predetermined uh, temperatures for PLA in the time frame. Kind of shows you how to set it up. Find the filament hole, pull the filament. So this is actually designed to actually be able to use this while you're printing. Um, there's a power connector so you can plug it in. Double click the on off button to turn on. Click the set to set switch the menu. Click the up to increase and then down to turn toggle. Okay, pretty easy. I think this is for the, for the Teflon tube. So these are little little rings here that you can put in. Here is the actual dryer itself. What's this? This is the power brick. It for it. It's this barrel connector. So Sunlu has the hole here, so you can actually, um, if this pops out, you can replace it. But that's where you can fish the filament out if you want to actually um, print while you're drying. A pretty light, pretty nice design. I stand it up it's pretty light oh there's actually two holes here so that's pretty cool and then I guess this has a little thing so I'll just pull this out and let's see here make sure that I don't break it oh there was another there was another sticker over here and it just opens like that and I think this is where the heating element and the heating coil is there's um, these little rollers at the bottom so it allows your filament if you're printing while you're trying these rollers will move the spool and then you can just put the filament in close this 
Uh, it doesn't click. Okay, kind of. It kind of clicks. Let's see here. Uh, does it click? It doesn't seem to have a click. So I think it's just. Yeah. It doesn't click. Um, you just have to kind of like wedge it in there to make sure that it's closed. Um, so that's fine. And we'll set this up where I have my 3D printer and we'll start printing. Um, the, the, the actual filament that I'm using will be a purple silk POA. And I'll show that in the next video when I get this set up and then start it running. So here's the purple filament, that silk that I was talking to you about. Now, at a glance, you can see that it looks pretty smooth. And I'm pretty happy with the overall, um, I guess, the um, overall functionality of it. But if I shine a light closer, you're going to see these little pits. Um, you can see it here. Um, you can see it... Um, and other spots as well. I'm going to get a little bit closer. You can see it. So these are imperfections that is like because when the filament has a little bit of moisture, these pits, uh, the filament extrudes and causes that water to kind of pop or bubble as the filament is creating this model. You can see it here as I go up and down. So this is what we're trying to prevent by drying the filament. So I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like after the filament is dried. All right, so here I am with my, this is actually the guest room, and this is where the 3D printer in the back is. And I have my wall of filament that's just right here in these um, containers. Now, uh, they were exposed, I would say that they were exposed to the air for some time. And in a room with the AC running, there is humidity in the room. So you're going to get some humidity coming into the filament. So I started to put these in the watertight um, containers. Now, the best thing that I'm going to do is probably go and put each one of these filaments in the dryer itself for six hours and then put them immediately into the watertight containers so that when I'm ready to print, it's ready to go. Um, what we're going to do is this this one right here is the purple one. So we're going to take it out of the container. And I'll show you here. Take it out of the container. I have this little dragon clip, which is actually pretty cool. Um, and we're going to weigh it. So let me... Um, let me weigh this with the scale. So I'm going to just go back and go into handheld mode here. Give me a second. Can I switch? All right. So I have a little scale here. And right here is the Sunlu uh, filament dryer. So I'm going to just turn this on. And it's zeroing out. So it says zero grams right now. And I'm just going to place this filament on. And we're going to see that it's 698 grams. So I'm just going to leave that filament clip on. 698 grams um, for this purple silk filament. And then as we dry it, I'm going to uh, re weigh it after the drying session. And we can see what it's like um, afterwards, well, how, how, how much it weighs. Um, so here is the actual sun loom, and I haven't plugged it in yet. So just the barrel connector, plug it in. It's currently off. We're going to open it up. We're gonna place this filament inside. Has the rollers, remember, so it kinda can spin like that, which is pretty cool. Good option. Maybe I'll do that one day. And then we'll just close it. Um, one second. Yep, it's closed. And then I'm gonna 
show you the front here the front you double tap this it comes on let me turn off this light so you can see it there you go so right now it says LED on it doesn't really show on my screen so let's see no hey, that's better 25c the relative humidity is 53 at the top here yeah that's better so 25c 50c time is six hours materials poa and led is on so that's the led here some say that it does nothing some say that it's showing that it's heating up i really don't know at the moment so i didn't say in the reference guide on what that is so oh well but as you can see once we got once we started it up it immediately chose poa as a material oh i guess it kind of uh there you go went out um so i guess it goes into a, a power saving mode so it doesn't use this lcd so that's a pretty nice lcd though um looks like we're on our way to drying you got six hours i'll come out i'll take this filament out i'll do a print and then show you a time lapse and then weigh well we'll take it out and weigh it first so that's it for this and i'll see you in up six hours so the unit has been going for about four hours now and i just reset it because i'm about to go to sleep and I wanted to show you the current settings here. So 50 PV is present value, which is 50 degrees. Set value is 50. The relative humidity is already 20%. Anything in the mid to low 20s is where you want to be. So I'm already hitting the mark here. Um, the, um, the time, I just reset that. So it's 5 hours PLA. And maybe I should take it out and weigh it. So let me pause this here and let me weigh it. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn on my scale. And if you can see here it's down to zero. I'm just gonna double press this. I'm going to move to lift this up. Pretty pretty hot in here. The, the clip is still on, so I'm just going to leave the clip on like this, and then leave it like it won't ravel. So I'm just put it like this. Alright, and the number is 696. So that definitely is an improvement of what we had before. So, looking good. I'm going to let this go overnight and see if this number changes. Hey everybody is here the next morning the unit has shut off and last time we were able to remove two grams of water from the filament so let's see if running it overnight has caused uh, or has has given us a little bit anything better I'll load this up and then I'll print the same um, um, wall plate so we're here we're at zero I'm gonna open this, it's still hot. And then just place it right here. Ah, here we go. 694. Again, that's an additional. Um, I think that's, that's even better. Uh, Let's see, that's an additional two grams that were removed. So now we're at four grams of water. So, um, great. I'm going to load this up and then I'll print. Here is the print that 
I just that just finished after drying the filament and as you can see here there's very little pits on this particular model there's a little bit here and maybe that's just due to the print itself but in the grand scheme of things this thing is pretty smooth and it looks much better than the other one that I printed so it definitely has made a difference in the quality of the print itself well so you see that the actual drying of the filament made a difference and when I put down the first layer it actually uh, helped with bed adhesion for the 3d printer so this little contraption here really helped on um, bringing uh, better quality prints to my 3d printer model so um, I definitely I haven't tried any other brands or any different dryers I heard that you can actually use a dehydrator to actually um, do the same thing that this does um, however, I got this on a Prime Day sale and it was actually not too much um, versus a actual dehydrator and modding it. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want future videos, please subscribe. And again, this is Tony with Tony's Tippets. Until next time.